as I'm talking to you right now, our African American brother um, Jarul is currently building a school in Africa, Ghana precisely. I thank you for accepting me as your brother. It is not even about thanking Africans for accepting you as their brother because you are already one of us. It goes down to your gene, to your DNA. That is why so many of our brothers there in the diaspora, when you do your ancestral DNA, it points you back to the motherland. It points you back to where you originally and where your ancestors came from. So you are already our brother. No, no need to even be thanking us. You are already one of us. And for me, education is the pillar of community. To my beautiful wife that's here with me, I also thank her. My kids that are home, I wish they could be here right now to experience this. But in closing, I'll just say I will be back. When the school opens up and not only is he investing in the motherland but he's also doing something that's going to impact the narrative of his people that's going to change the narrative of his people for good now let's go to our brother idris elba he is planning to open up a film industry also in ghana now i don't really know how the project is going but you know, that is what he is planning to do. Also, Mr. Steve Harvey, the TV show that he opened in South Africa is gaining a massive, huge success in South Africa and it is going to be extending to Botswana. That is what he himself revealed in an interview. Don't let anybody tell you that you should not come and invest in Africa because majority of our brothers have already started seeing that truly the motherland is the vision. <laughs> Hello family, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Nelson. I'm your brother from Africa. And if you're just coming new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell icon to get updates from the channel. In an interview, Mr. Steve Harvey disclosed that after he visited the motherland and he went to Ghana and some other countries here in Africa, he realized that it is time for him to open up his reality TV show here in the motherland. And sadly, when he came up with the idea, he received a lot of discouragement. And I'm sure that is the same thing that people are discouraging most of our brothers and sisters there in the diaspora for them, for them not to come and invest in the motherland. They told him, you want to open up your show in Africa? Africans don't even have people that know how to do lightning of a TV show. You're not even going to get a good camera guys that are going to be, that are going to set up your cameras for your TV show. You're not going to get, you know, workers that are going to be working. In short, there are a lot of things that they told him that it is not advisable for you to open up your show in Africa. But guess what? Right now, the TV show in South Africa has gained so much success that he is now extending it to Botswana. And not only is he having that TV show here in the motherland, but he has employed Africans. He has created a good environment you know, for the workers that he's going to employ in Africa. And he's already making an impact with his TV shows. And this is an example that our brothers and sisters from the diaspora need to learn. You know what I mean? If people are discouraging you, people are telling you that, you know, in Africa, you want to go and do this in Africa, are you even sure? Do not take the word for them, except you have come and try it yourself and you realize that, you no, know, maybe it's not working because they say experience is the best teacher. It is good for you to come and experience something. When it didn't work out, then you know that you have learned something from it. This is just some of the things that I love about Mr. Steve Harvey because even though, you know, so many people told him, so many people discouraged, so many people discouraged him not to go and open up a show in Africa, but he did not listen to them. He still tried it, and now it is working perfectly for him. Mm -hmm. 